Dear students, I am Bharat Kashyap, lecturer in biology at GSSS Majhwar District Mandi. Today I am going to teach you 9th chapter of biology, the biomolecules and today's topic is amino acids and lipids. Let us begin today's chapter with amino acids. Amino acids are organic compounds containing an amino group and an acidic group as substituent on the same carbon that is alpha carbon. You can understand first what is alpha carbon. This is the alpha carbon here. The carbon with whom there are functional groups are attached. That carbon is known as alpha carbon. So amino and carboxylic groups are present here. Now, there are four groups present on alpha carbon. In this case, hydrogen, carboxyl, amino and variable R group. This is the hydrogen, then carboxylic acid group, then amino group and variable R group. As R group varies, the name of amino acid also varies. Based on nature of R group, there are many amino acids and out of them only 20 occur in proteins. In other words, proteins are made by only 20 amino acids. Now, different R groups make different amino acids. For example, if R group is, let us discuss in first case, if it is hydrogen, the amino acid is called glycine. Look at the diagram here. Now, if it is methyl group, the amino acid is called alanine. And if the variable side chain is hydroxymethyl, it is called serine. So, these three are mentioned in your NCRT book. And there are other 17 amino acids which make the proteins. Now, the physical and chemical properties of amino acids depends on number of amino, carboxyl and R groups. So, 20 amino acids have been divided into following four groups. First are acidic amino acids. These contain one amino group and two carboxyl groups per molecule, hence called acidic amino acids. These are glutamic acid and aspartic acid. Now basic amino acids, these contain two amino groups and one carboxyl group per molecule. For example, arginine, lysine and histidine. Now neutral amino acids, they have one amino group and one carboxyl group per molecule. For example, methionine, isoleucine, serine, threonine, cysteine, glycine, alanine, valine, leucine, aspargine, glutamine and proline. Then aromatic amino acids. These contain aromatic rings in their side chains. For example, phenyl alanine, tyrosine and tryptophan. So, we have divided 20 amino acids into four groups. Now, zwitterion formation of amino acids. Look at the picture here. In the middle, there is zwitterion showing neutrality. Amino acids have a property of ionizable nature of amino and carboxyl groups, which means it can gain or lose electron. Now, zwitterion is a neutral molecule with equal number of positively charged and negatively charged functional groups. This is showing neutral molecule here. In acidic conditions, amino receives an hydrogen ion and amino acid act as a base. Look at the diagram here. This is NH3 plus. It becomes cation here and behave as a 
बेस एट लो पी एच वैल्यू और हाई एसिडिक कंडीशन नाउ इन बेसिक कंडीशन सी हियर वेन हाई पी एच इज देयर द कार्बोक्सिल लूज इज हाइड्रोजन आयन एंड अमीनो एसिड एक्ट एज एन एसिड सो हियर इट लूज इज हाइड्रोजन आयन एंड इट बिहेव एज एन एसिड एंड बिकम्स एन आयन सो दिस इज हाउ द अमीनो एसिड्स बिहेव इन लो एंड हाई पी एच सोल्यूशंस नाउ लिपिड्स Lipids are the esters of fatty acids and alcohol. Let us understand this. This is the fatty acid. This is alcohol, and now ester bond is formed. Water is removed, and the product is ester or lipid. So these are generally insoluble in water. they could be simple fatty acids now what is a fatty acid a fatty acid has a carboxyl group attached to an r group you can understand here this with this fatty acid here this is carboxyl group attached to the r here the r group may be a methyl ethyl or higher number of ch2 groups it may vary from 1 carbon to 19 carbon chain for example palmitic acid it has 16 carbon including the carboxyl carbon so this is the palmitic acid here and we have 16 carbons including carboxyl carbon palmitic acid next is arachidonic acid it has 20 carbon atoms including carboxyl carbon whereas this is the oleic acid which has 18 carbon including carboxyl carbon on the basis of bonds fatty acids are of two types first one are the saturated fatty acids or also known as hydrogenated look at the diagram here all the bonds are satisfied with hydrogen that's why hydrogenated and saturated fatty acids which do not have double bonds these are generally solid at room temperature for example butter and vanaspati ghee other one are unsaturated fatty acids these are unsaturated fatty acids fatty acids which contain one or more double bonds these are generally liquid at room temperature for example mustard oil and olive oil so these are the it has this is a double bond here for example palmitic acid is unsaturated whereas oleic acid is a saturated fatty acid now classification of lipids lipids are classified into three groups simple lipids compound lipids and derived lipids simple lipids are called fats these are esters of fatty acids and glycerol which are liquid at room temperature then we call them oils esters of long chain fatty acids and long, long chain alcohols are also called waxes now compound lipids these are esters of fatty acids and alcohol but possess other groups also for example sugar in glycolipids phosphate in phospholipids and then derived lipids these are formed by fused hydrocarbon rings and a long hydrocarbon side chain for example cholesterol now simple lipids these are esters of fatty acids and alcohols glycerol is a simple lipid named as trihydroxypropane many lipids have both glycerol and fatty acids the fatty acids are esterified with glycerol 
they can be monoglycerides diglycerides and triglycerides depending on the number of fatty acids attached to a glycerol molecule they are also called fats or oils based on their melting point so this is here glycerol these are three fatty acid chains and esterification take place and this is the fat or triglyceride and three water molecules are removed as oils have low melting points they are usually liquid at room temperature they remain as oils in winter also for example indian sesame oil or gingerly or til oil cotton seed oil mustard oil etc whereas fats are butter ghee etc now compound or conjugated lipids these are esters of fatty acids and alcohol but also contain other substances for example phospholipids glycolipids keratin suberin etc phospholipids are lipids which have phosphorus and phosphorylated organic compounds in them for example lecithin which is found in cell membrane lecithin is a phospholipid which consists of glycerol to fatty acids a phosphate group and choline so this is the diagram here of lecithin this is a glycerol molecule then two fatty acids and this is the phosphate and this is choline now the derived lipids these are lipid like substances such as sterol or derivatives of lipids for example cholesterol which is the most abundant type of steroid in body cholesterol consists of four linked hydrocarbon rings and a hydrocarbon tail the nervous system is enriched with important classes of lipids like sphingolipids and cholesterol which compose the major portion of brain particularly in form of myelin this is the diagram of cholesterol it contain four hydrocarbon rings and this is a hydrocarbon tail with this we come to close of today's lecture i do hope you must have understood it properly thanks for watching